Dead Hand, the horrifying monster found at the bottom of the well and within the Shadow Temple. But what kind of horrible creature is this? We have never seen anything like it before in any of the Zelda games. Let's find out! Dead Hand is a miniboss from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and he looks like a dead corpse. Dead Hand's central body is a flabby, almost tumorous mass covered in patches of something that looks like blood, with two tiny arms that terminate in sharp red spines rather than hands, and a head with a gigantic gaping mouth armed with huge teeth. Its eyes are black and expressionless, and its jaw can open incredibly wide. It is commonly encountered with several infinite hands, and it's unknown if the infinite hands are a part of its body. Link must first lure the creature to attack him, as its limbs are invulnerable. When Link wanders too close to a hand, it will grab him and hold him in place while Dead Hand erupts from the ground. It will slowly wriggle towards Link and he will have to struggle to escape the grip before Dead Hand delivers a horrific bite. When Link obtains the Lens of Truth, however, he can locate where a Dead Hand is hiding by using the Lens of Truth to find an invisible black spot on the ground. Link must then place a bomb on the black spot. This will cause the Dead Hand to emerge, allowing Link to attack it without being snared by an infinite hand. Whether Link is snared or not, Dead Hand will still try to bite Link. Dead Hand is impervious to all weaponry besides Link's sword and keeps its head pointed upwards as it moves into an attacking position. However, when it bends over to attack, Link must swing a sword and slice its face many times before it turns around and retreats. Eventually, Link defeats Dead Hand and it topples over and lets out one last dying groan. Some say that Dead Hand is based on zombies of classic literature. This is further supported by the German translation of Dead Hand, which is Brain Feeder. But is this really true? Well, I don't think so. There's a way more suited match out there, and that's the Preeta. Preeta is a type of supernatural being described in some Indian religions as undergoing suffering greater than that of humans, especially an extreme level of hunger and thirst. Preeta is often translated into English as Hungry Ghost from the Chinese adaptation. Preetas are believed to have been false, corrupted, compulsive, deceitful, jealous or greedy people in a previous life. As a result of their karma, they are afflicted with an unending hunger for a particular substance or object. Normally this is something such as dead bodies, though in more recent stories it can be anything. Preetas are invisible to the human eye, but some believe that they can be detected by humans in certain mental states. They are described as human-like, with a sunken mummified skin, narrow limbs, enormously swollen bellies and long thin necks. This appearance is a metaphor for their mental situation. They have enormous appetites signified by their gigantic bellies, but a very limited ability to satisfy those appetites symbolized by their slender necks. Pritas are often depicted in Japanese art as starving human beings with bulging stomachs and inhumanly small mouths and throats. They are frequently shown licking up spilled water in temples or accompanied by demons representing their personal agony. Pritas dwell in the waste and desert places of the earth and vary in situation according to their past karma. Others can find food or drink but find it very difficult to swallow. Others find the food they eat seems to burst into flames as they swallow it. Others see something edible or drinkable and desire it, but it withers and dries up before their eyes. As a result, they are always hungry. In addition to hunger, Pritas suffer from an immoderate heat and cold. They find that even the moon scorches them in the summer, while the sun freezes them in the winter. So let's take a look at the parallels between the Dead Hand and the Pritas. While they both seem to have an unsatisfiable hunger, Dead Hand has a hunger for blood and flesh. We can see this by all the skeletons on the ground. Appearance-wise, they are almost the same, both having the iconic gigantic bellies and slender necks. And they both live in dark, isolated places like the bottom of the well. This would also answer the question of what kind of creature Dead Hand was. The Shadow Temple, here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. This is the description of the Shadow Temple, one of the places where we find and fight Dead Hand. Pritas are believed to have been mean and greedy people in a previous life. Maybe this is the same case with Dead Hand. Since the Shadow Temple's theme is greed and hatred and it was built with unknown reasons, it could be that this is the place where Dead Hand came into existence. A human that once was greedy and filled with hatred and as a result of their karma turned into Dead Hand. But who could this man be? Well, there's one clear candidate. The man who could see the truth. A long time ago, there was a man in this village who had an eye they said could see the truth. 
Now usually you have to train your mind's eye to actually see the truth. But this fella? <laughs> no, he had a very different way of doing things. His house stood where the well is now. It could be possible that the spirit of the man who could see the truth is dead hand, since this man's house stood formerly where the well is now. This is also supported by the fact that Link retrieves the lens of truth by defeating dead hand. The man who could see the truth got greedy thanks to the power of the lens of truth and turned just like the Preta into a dead hand like creature. And now he is doomed to live on like this, with an unending hunger for human flesh and blood. So now you know the dark story behind Dead Hand and what he is based on, the Preta, cursed beings filled with greed and hatred. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and YouTube to stay up to date, the links are in the description down below and on the screen right now.